Core Dynamics are the combat vessel specialists of the Federation, and the Vulture is perhaps the purest manifestation of what a combat vessel can be. This ship, when serving as an air superiority fighter, has the speed, manoeuvring and firepower to bring down just about any human opponent it comes up against. Its aggressive utilitarian design, serving as a reminder that this ship can boost to over 550 meters per second and can outturn just about any other ship in existence. In flight assist off, its powerful vertical and lateral thrusters make positioning for that perfect attack run a dream. The ship is however extremely limited in its hard points, with only two large available. In normal combat, two large weapons is a lot of firepower, but gauss cannons are limited to medium. Running two gauss cannons means no flak and no thermal vent beam so the Vulture has to make do with avoiding the swarm and waiting out shields. This is doable, but drastically opens up the window for pilot error. First, we face off against the Cyclops, just to get a feel for the ship. The Vulture has excellent manoeuvring capability, especially in flight assist off. Avoiding the swarm and boosting into position is a breeze. The two medium gauss are perfectly suited to taking down the Cyclops. The rate of fire is a little slower than my usual rhythm though. No glaring problems came up fighting the Cyclops, and Basilisks are more of the same. Longer attacking runs and a little more effort required to keep the swarm at a safe distance, but overall the Vulture has no problems in taking down a Basilisk. It is more than fast enough to negate the Basilisk's 530 meters a second straight line speed. Multi-goid situations are where the Vulture really shines. With plenty of targets to engage while the previous target shield is wearing off, the only breaks you will need to take are from heat sink rearming. Vulture can easily attack targets while evading lightning attacks from other goids.
swarm missiles are your biggest threat, but the vulture's maneuverability is more than enough to reset the swarm if they end up in missile state. Just wait for a missile barrage, then hit silent running and boost on through them. Against the Medusa, the Vulture has plenty of DPS with normal ammo and can boost orbit to avoid the swarm as much as is needed. The attacking runs are a lot longer, but the Vulture's thrusters will keep you out of harm's way. The Vulture can run quite hot however, and two gusts can spike your heat above 20%, meaning you will take some fire here and there. The Vulture has a very weak canopy, even with module reinforcement. Avoid lightning attacks at all costs.
against the Hydra, the Vulture can evade the Swarm without boosting, so you can remain within the 1.5km damage falloff range for the Gauss Cannons. This is essential against the first few hearts of the Hydra, and so great care must be taken to avoid the Swarm in normal flight. Unfortunately, on this run, I forgot to pick up repair limpets. I am saving my synth materials for a run of the number one spot on the AXI Ace leaderboard. Decided to break contact here, but the Vulture has the DPS and maneuverability to take out a Hydra. Speaking of the Ace leaderboard, the Vulture is a 50 point ship and can carry 32 tons of cargo, so can perform summons. Unfortunately, though, You'll have to be very lucky to get it right. The relatively low number of meta alloys means that if you are shut down, the goids will almost certainly lose interest and leave. All in all, the Vulture is a very capable and fun small ship to use in AX combat. While I would recommend the Diamondback Scout over the Vulture due to its versatility, the Vulture also has the added benefit of really simplifying the fire groups you need if you prefer less fire group juggling in combat. AX without flak is always going to be more challenging than having flak, so I would not recommend it as a beginner ship, but the manoeuvring and speed of the Vulture make it an excellent ship for AX combat. <laughs> <laughs> 